thanks for joining us again. This is our little video Instagram moment and I'm here with my very first client, Jeremy Irons, who needs no introduction, although I just have. Oh, <laughs> always use an introduction. <laughs> Otherwise they'll be thinking, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> I just wanted to share with everyone the story of why I got started and the backstory that you don't know is that I was completely broke. I had a daughter to look after, absolutely no money, and you were kind enough to buy my first piece. I don't know if you remember the negotiation for the value. <laughs> remind me, remind me. I, I, I think what it was, it was I'd seen one that you'd uh, some do, yeah. and uh, hunted you down, found you not across the valley, across yep. the hill, yeah. um, and uh, I'd said, what, I loved it. I mean, I just loved it. And I said, what do you want for it? And he said, give me two months, you said, give me two months rent. Yeah, you? And I, because I was about a week away from not being able to pay my rent. Right. Uh, you said, done. And we then shook hands and I, I thought I recognised you. And it then, then you then proceeded to say, you've got something here, make more. I, you know, I, mm. I can't see it being a... Well, I, I mean, you know, it's very rare in these days when most people have thought, or a lot of people have thought of a lot of things, um, to, to see something which is so which is a useful which for me is is, is always the first thing yeah. something is useful I'm, I'm not too good at buying something which isn't useful um, something that works something that is incredibly pleasing to look at and something that is pretty original yeah and that i hadn't seen them before um and i remember you you know you you were very self-deprecating and, and i said you, you you really do have something here you you know you should go with this, run with this, yeah. and my God, you have. Yeah. It's very exciting, you know, big projects all over the world. Not, well, not exclusively with sundials. Um, right. We're doing sculptures and water features. Right, which are, are, are water features are useful. Because at the time, I, the, my workshop was six foot by six foot. In fact, that one, your one, was made on the steps of my cottage to the annoyance of the, the neighbour, because it was a very noisy process. And yeah. then you asked me to, oh, yes. to Chelsea. Yeah. We, we just started to get a bit sort of grown posh, up. A bit, yeah, posh. Posh, bit posh. We yeah. had a stand at the Chelsea Flower Show. Yeah. And we said, you know, let's <laughs> let's get some heavyweight credentials in here. And you sweetly said yes. Which well, you great. very kindly gave me a ticket to Chelsea. What else can I do? <laughs> well, you manned but the stand, which was pretty impressive. I manned the stand for a bit. And sadly, we were a bit overrun. The garden was a bit overrun by... Um, Journalists by journalists and Lolita fans, wasn't it? And I remember then, because I was, shortly after, I think at that time, was rebuilding this old tower castle yeah. in, in, in Ireland. And you came up with all these wonderful ideas about how I could oh, have yes. things sticking out of the window, which would actually throw, with a mirror on, which would throw the sun yeah. onto different dials above the arch. But we could still do it. Of course, time wasn't. I mean, they used to ring the church bell at midday or something, or yeah. six o'clock. Midday, so that yep. people working in the fields could understand when it was dinner time. Yep. But people didn't live by the clock or the watch no. like we do. No, no, not at all. In those days, did they? There's something about the time that you see on a sundial, which is, because it's inexorable, it's just happening, you can't control it. So we look at our watches and stress because we've got to be somewhere. We look at our phones and look at the time and think, all oh, right. But when you look at the sundial, the time on a sundial, it's like that is the, that is the here and now. Yeah. Not, not something I can control. I am at, at the whim of this, whereas this one we always try to control. Mm. That was great. And we'll have a look at your armillary in a tick. Good. And um, uh, watch out for the next uh, Instagram video, which will be coming to you. Anyway, in the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and stay inspired. Mm.